What is up, everyone? I really didn't want to do a C6 Kokomi, but my chat, they kind of forced me to by slapping my face left and right with money. So, thanks to my chat, this is gonna be a C6 review. C5, we're gonna get some extra levels for her E. So from level 6, now level 9. We're gonna get more healing, okay? And then, C6. This is gonna be a game changer, right? So we're gonna be checking her damage by the Manasori, okay? And then we're gonna see if it's gonna be better for us to use either HP percentage goblet or hydro damage bonus goblet. Let's go. Now, from that 90% hydro damage bonus, we're gonna be getting that extra 40% from the constellation after we heal. So by looking at the multiplayer, right? I'm hoping that the amount of damage I do with Kokomi is gonna be very reasonable. So let's go ahead and test her damage in Manasori. No power resonance, it's just gonna be Kokomi. Now I do 10, 11k damage, 12k. Ceases Kokomi. <laughs> For more damage. <laughs> I see. I need particles. Give me particles. Why is this particle so RNG? Alright. This is the damage you'll be looking at with R1 Donuts and C6 Kokomi. But what I wanted to see is. How much damage am I gonna do with the energy charge sands? I still can't get rid of my greed to give her energy charge sands and try to make her sustainable in Spare Abyss so that we can solo things. Energy charge with a lot of HPs. Do we have that? Oh, we have that. We have 14% HP here. We have something better. 9.9% .9 attack. There's attack. Oh, perfect. We've got 20% HP sands. All right, let's use this. And see if she's gonna be sustainable when it comes to her Q. Let's do that. So with the energy charge sands, I'm doing 9k, 10k because it probably had that 20% HP, right? Stop blocking. Okay, I thought I was able to sustain myself in terms of energy, but I kind of failed here. So. You know where I need to go? I need to go to Spare Abyss to actually see if we can do that. So in terms of damage, I didn't see a lot of difference. So um, if you ever plan to build Kokomi to maybe solo Abyss, then you can probably give her energy charge. Last time I tried, I couldn't do it at C4, so I'm assuming that it only works at C6. But we still have to find out if that's the thing. Okay, let's go. We choose energy charge. All right, let me see if he can do this. Give me enough energy. Yo, yo, did you guys see that? Now that we have more damage, right? We can actually kill stuff faster and then we get our energy back. Oh. Just kill this guy in three seconds. Give me the... Particle? Yes. Charge attack! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, charge attack. <laughs> Extra resistance on Kokomi makes her <laughs> like a turret. I don't need to dodge anything. Oh, the brain dead character! <laughs> this is even more brain dead than D Luke. Oh, this is weird. It feels really weird to use Kokomi like this. Oh, particle would be nice. Particle. Let's kill them. Just, just kill them. And then we wait for particles. Uh, did we get enough particles? Oh, we might suffer in the next floor. But I didn't want to waste too much time. Uh, 
It's okay, my jellyfish will heal me. Wait, just one more time. Stay, stay, stay. Good boy. <laughs> His attack! It doesn't hurt so much! One thing I can probably utilize is that you can use cube right before like jellyfish disappears so that we can get an extension on the duration of the jellyfish, right? I'm not so used to this, but I think it's almost the same. It's, it's almost the same. Here's another jellyfish. Ow. Oh, we're gonna kill the Magu Kenki! Oh, I'm frozen! Where'd he go? This is no bueno. I'm literally unkillable. Let's hope that we can kill him in this rotation. Only in my dreams. <laughs> Don't do that. Particles! Where's my particles, dude? Like, it literally is RNG, huh? Like, sometimes I get two, sometimes I get three. Oh my god. I mean, of course, this is not how you would be using Kakomi. Okay, chamber three. Okay, this should not be so bad. Okay, infinite Q incoming. Ow! Please die. All right. <laughs> Guys, we have found out that C4 Kokomi was not able to kind of solo Spirit Abyss because she was lacking damage. And C6 basically solved that. However, I really don't know what Mihoyo was actually thinking when they came up with the constellations for Kokomi. You know, they probably thought that if they made Kokomi to be stronger than Child, it would be a little overbalanced. Because for Child, if you pull one copy of him, you will not be able to use him in the melee stance. However, for Kokomi, all you gotta do is just kinda use heal, you know, whenever you get Q, you use that, you use autos here and there, and then you swap out. And she's not only just a healer, but she also can do some damage you really cannot ignore as F2P or Small Spender. Even for Veils as well. Like, it's only in the rim in my eyes because I'm more used to doing like 30k, 40k damage, but I'm looking at 9k, 10k damage. But this amount of damage probably will be, without a donut, 7k, 8k. Is that ignorable? No, it would've been nice. If Mihoyo can every time they release a character, like share their thoughts on how they like built the character and why they did it. Or explain how we would be using it so that we can kind of understand what they were actually thinking, you know? So anyways, uh, C6 Kokomi, she can finally solo Spirit Abyss a lot better because she can start to kill those smaller monsters. And even against those ring guards, she gets those particles back here and there so that she can just infinitely spam her Q. So if this is the case, then yeah, pretty solid character. However, you don't need this. Genshin Impact is a team game. 
<laughs> My chance. I don't know why they forced me to do this, but this was not necessary. God damn. <laughs> I don't even want to, like, make my donut to be R5. It's totally not worth it. What am I gonna do? Like, if I spend $1,000, I'll be doing what? 1k more damage each hit? F*** that shit. No. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.